Welcome and thanks for joining me. This video highlights the new scene viewer that is available with the 2016 release of Hydrogeo Analyst. The scene viewer replaces the old 3D Explorer and has some really nice new features. First, it's very interactive. Creating a new scene is as easy as clicking a button. From there, you can drag and drop items from the HGA project tree right into the scene, such as station groups and cross sections. You can also add other items such as DXFs and surfaces. This is a good way to get a feeling for what your project site actually looks like. The scene viewer has a nice set of legends that break down everything in the view. Sections of boreholes that do not have lithology information, such as these ones down here, default to the color gray, indicating they have no data available. This is a great way to QAQC your data and validate whether or not what you are seeing makes sense at your site. For now, let's go ahead and turn off these legends. Another really nice new feature is the ability to dynamically refresh the content of your scene. What I mean by this is that if you have created a scene and then something changes in your data, like a new well is drilled, or you realize that the lithology record for one of the wells is wrong, such as maybe this clay that's indicated down here, you can make the correction and refresh your scene and the view will automatically update to show the new data. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So if we look at GB35, here's the clay layer that we're seeing. Let's go ahead and we'll change that to silt. If we go back to the scene, there it is, GB35, and we'll refresh the data. And we can see that it's updated now to display it as silt. And lastly, the 2016 release of Hydrogeo Analyst also includes support for deviated or non-vertical boreholes in both the well profile, which is replacing the borehole log viewer, but also in the scene viewer. As an extreme example of what I mean, let me show you this project. This is a project that we made for the National Groundwater Awareness Week. In this project, we were able to warp the wells into the shape of raindrops. This is done by specifying an azimuth and an inclination under the well construction drilling protocol table. That would be this field here, here's the inclination, and this field, the azimuth. When I create a new 3D scene and bring these wells into the view, you can see that the scene viewer is robust enough to handle the display of even these complex pretzel shapes. Thanks for watching. Coming soon, we'll have a short video on the new Well Profile module. If you have questions or comments, as always, please give us a shout. You can reach us at sales at waterloohydrogeologic.com.